right, here I go. Thanksgiving 2019. I'm not looking forward to it. But... Bad science. I'm gonna be bad <laughs> <laughs> Salutations everyone, my name is Food Cat, and today's episode of Food Cat Diets is going to be a little different. I'm going to discuss how I began my journey into fitness and weight loss. A good chunk of my past has played as a catalyst for these topics. The last one is what crossed the line for me because it was the realization that I was weak, worthless, and a big baby for wanting people to support me when I should be supporting myself. And thinking back to all of this, I started the weight loss journey as my catharsis. Not in a very smart way though. Like every other neophyte, I started eating little to nothing. Most people would starve themselves, but in my case, I ate a plain gross iceberg lettuce salad with a bottle of coconut water because I was desperate, but it did help me lose 20 pounds in the first month. Then I started using a website called isitbadforyou.com. It helped me build a grocery list to have for losing weight. Unfortunately, the website doesn't seem to be active anymore, so nowadays I just search up foods and beverages on Google wondering if it's healthy or not. In regards to burning calories, I just skated a lot and went to the skate park three times a week for four hours while having a banana and yogurt breakfast. Doing this helped me lose four to seven pounds a day easy. That's because it's super hot outside and I do some intense flat ground skating. Fast forward to the end of summer 2017, I achieved the goal of no longer being overweight but by barely, and I decided to stop dieting from there because everyone else said that I look good enough, that I look like a stick now, and that I should eat more. But it pretty much went downhill from there by the end of 2018. I did try to go to a six pack diet at some point while skating, but failed after a few months and got overconfident thinking that my body won't punish me for eating whatever I want. So I ate fast food every week and enjoyed myself even though I could feel it harming my body. So at the end of 2018, my brother had a conversation with me and told me that everyone is talking behind my back saying that I was getting fat again, which led to my depression. I did step on the weight scale after a while and saw that I gained 20 pounds throughout 2018. So I went back to my old diet plan and skate routine while also adding the farmer's walk and learning the one-arm push-up, which is the time that I started doing the first episode of Food Cat Diets because I was positive that I could lose the weight again. But early into 2019, I discovered calisthenics and fell in love with how convenient and cool looking it was. On top of that, I added a 5 mile run every weekday as my cardio because I got pretty tired of skating and doing the same flat ground tricks over and over. It was a pretty basic 3 times a week routine with easy exercises, 10 reps of 4 circuits on standard push ups, squat calf raises, body weight rows, and lying leg raises. When I was beginning this fitness journey, it was to fight the pain that everyone inflicted on me, but it later became an extremely fun habit that you all know I obsess over now. Not only was I losing weight throughout the year from this routine, but I also got a six pack like I always wanted, and my endurance was insanely improved. Eventually I was able to run 6-10 to 10 miles every day and perform harder exercises in my calisthenics routine. Having this newfound strength and motivation, I started taking an interest into weight training. And I had a routine going on with that until my brother took down his power rack due to the process of moving out of the farm. With the power rack gone, I'm currently using the same calisthenics routine except I'm doing 15 reps of 5 circuits. I'll be doing this until I get everything settled when I move back to town. I've been working on my grip strength as well to get better at 2 finger push ups because 1 arm push ups have gotten easy at this point in time. In conclusion, I am still extremely paranoid that people are talking bad about me, and working out along with video games have become my state of felicity. I hope y'all enjoyed the summarized fitness slash weight loss story. I wasn't trying to be dramatic with it by the way, I was just telling it how it is. And I'll see you all in future episodes of Food Cat Diets. Who the F is this? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna turn the lights off for this place now. There's uh, Jesus. Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights for this place now. There's uh, a <laughs>